In this short video, we're going to show you how easy it is to draw an arc in the software. So over in your design tab under the create vectors section, you want to click on this icon here. When you click on that, that will enable you to create an arc. So we have two ways that we can create an arc. We can do that through three points or centre start and end. And we're going to look at both of these. Now the easiest one is through three points. Okay, so this is where you first click your start point. So I'm going to use my left mouse button to place that in. So I'm just clicked there. And then you'll see I've got a line here and I'm just going to let go where I want my end points to be. So I'm just going to click like so. And then using my mouse you can see I can just move that and I can see the radius of our arc and when I'm happy with that I can just simply click to accept that and there's my arc and that's been created there so that's through three points so let's just press Control z and now we're going to look at the center start and end and if we click on that what we need to do is first select our center point for our arc followed by the start and then the end. So let's say we want that in the center of our job. So we're going to click to create our center point. And then when I move my mouse out, you can see it's drawing out um, this circle here, in which case I need to specify my start point. So let's say I want my start point to be over here. I can click that in place and then I can choose my end point by moving my mouse and then specifying where I want that to go and then I can just click to accept that and you can see we've created another arc. Alternatively, you could look at entering in very precise values from within the form. So let's have a look at that. So we'll just press Control Z here. Let's say I wanted to create an arc where we've got it in X at one, Y at one, and then X at nine, and Y in one. All I need to do is put X one here, Y one there, and then X nine here, and Y one there. And then I just need to specify the radius or the height. So for example, I want the radius there to be five, and go ahead, press create, and you can see it's created that arc for me. And so that's how you create an arc in Vectric software.